I am the Dream Detective, and I help you to find the gold in the gobbledygook of your dreams so you can live the life you dream of. Tonight I wanted to share with you um, my thoughts around plurking. Um, and for those of you who don't know what plurking is, um, I hope my little story will explain exactly what it is and why I think I, we should all be doing it. This weekend here in the UK, it's a, a holiday weekend, a Maybank holiday. Hello, Chris. And, um, well, you're ostensibly you're supposed to be taking it easy, you know, barbecuing if the weather allows or going to the beach or what have you. Well, I decided that what I will be doing tomorrow, which is the, the actual holiday, is to um, teach someone Reiki. Now, um, I l absolutely love teaching, whether it's teaching Reiki or someone Reiki or um, teaching people how to interpret and understand their dreams or other things. Um, it's something that I really and truly enjoy. And so it's not work for me. Um, it's play. Um, when I'm teaching, I'm enjoying myself, and I hope my students are as well. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chris. And so I am going to be plurking. And what plurking is, is simply play plus work. So that you're doing what you love, and it doesn't seem like work, no matter how many hours you have to put into it. And that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm going to be plurking. Um, it's by choice. It's I'm doing something I absolutely love. Um, and it's it's a source of pleasure to me from, from start to finish. I mean, it's not just about teaching people and seeing them take on um, new skills or learn more about themselves so that they can move forward in their lives. And of course, yes, it's my living, so I get paid, but it's the actual pleasure. I mean, I've spent the weekend preparing um, my notes or going through my notes. I mean, I've done this before, but I like to be prepared. So um, I went through my notes and cleared up some. There was some paperwork that wasn't complete, so I had to, you know, make up the the, the paperwork so that it was all proper and ready for for a Monday. My husband laughs at me. Says, "You got two days to prepare. Why are you doing this now?" And it was, as always, it was a good thing I did because I was able to make sure that everything was complete and ready, so I could just pick up my bag and go and teach my student. So my question to you is, are you plurking? Is, is the work that you're doing feel like play rather than a task or ordeal you have to get through? If you're not plurking, why aren't you plurking? I know, I know, we need to, you know, unimportant little things like paying the bills and eating regularly <laughs> come into the mix. But do you have to sacrifice joy just to pay the bills? No, I mean, everyone's situation is different. And of course, we all need to live and, and pay our, you know, pay our way through life. But even if your job isn't what um, gives you the most pleasure and allows you to plurk, is there something else that you could be doing with your life that gives you that same pleasure? It could be a hobby. You know, it could be something that you do on the weekends or in the evenings, but does it fill you with passion? Is it something that you would work on 24-7, 365 without problem and forget about eating, sleeping, and even talking to your partner? Do you love it that much? That's what plurking is. Plurking is doing something that you love to such an extent that it's no longer work. It's play. I never feel happier than when I'm actually doing teaching um, or work doing something out in nature in terms of maybe making flower essences or something like that. So for me, my working life has become my play life. And it, in an ideal world, that would be like that for everyone. And it can be. 
It actually can be, but you have to make that decision. And sometimes that will require sacrifice. Um, it's not always easy to, to go your own way and do your own thing. People don't understand or, and may or may not support you. And that's talking about the people closest to you. <laughs> but if it's truly what's in your heart, if it's truly what makes you want to get up in the morning and put one foot in front of the other, then shouldn't you consider that just maybe that's something that you need to be doing more of? So I would put that to you. Are you plurking? And if you're not, why not? Circumstances, I understand. I mean, but you don't have to necessarily earn a living and plurk. You could do it on your own time. You could do it on the weekends or the evenings or whatever. But I assure you, if you find that thing that whatever it is, whether it be cooking, dancing, singing, whatever, when you find that thing and you love it to the point where you would do it day and night, every day for the rest of your life, that's where you're plurking. And that's what you need to focus on. So even if the rest of your life is you know, mundane and, and every day, normal kinds of tables and chairs of life, paying bills and running up and down and you know, whatever, plurk, do some plurking somewhere in your life to make it a joy instead of drudgery. Well, that's it for me. This is a short live. I am going to enjoy some of <laughs> at some of this long weekend and not do too much. Um, I've been relaxing in preparation for my class tomorrow. But I'm going to go plurking, and it will be a joy to do so. And I would encourage you to find your own way of plurking. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Have a great bank holiday if you're here in the UK, and have a great week ahead, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.